guys, this is Tina from Shabby Dabby Doodah. Welcome back to my channel. So we are here for another one of our mask making sessions. We are up to week number 189, would you believe? So we are doing reruns for anyone who doesn't follow my channel. We are rerunning week number 89, so week number 189. Now, for some reason, in the original bunch of mass makings, I'd actually done two week 89s. So this is week 89, a second week 89, if you see what I mean. Um, so yeah, the first week 89 was actually two weeks ago because I missed a week before the bank holiday, which actually it turns out I also got that wrong, but yeah. <laughs> I digress completely. So, what are we making? We are making um very cute little uh corner fold over pockets. Um they are not my idea and I did mention this in the first video. They were from a video that I saw by Hanny Trump. Um so I will try and remember to link that video below, but if I don't, I do apologize and please just shout at me and then I will obviously, you know, link it retrospectively. Um, so they are very, very clever pockets and all you are going to need is, you are going to need some paper. Now your papers that you use, you can use, um, you know, scrap papers. I would recommend something kind of like maybe six by six, something like that size. Um, probably kind of smaller than that, you're going to struggle, you know, well, they're going to just be smaller pockets basically. And you will see once we get making what I'm talking about. Now I have got um printables in full a4 pages here so mine are not sort of tiny scraps they are full pages that just is what i happen to have to hand but that being said i have tried to pick um you know not necessarily misprints but you know where i've kind of printed things on the back that i don't necessarily want them you know, as a double-sided paper. So although they're not scraps per se, size-wise, they are kind of scraps as in, you know, they're not suitable now to be double-sided pieces. Um, so yeah, that's kind of in the main what I'm going to be using. Now, I would also recommend that you use thinner paper. Um, so my paper is 120 GSM. I think your usual copy paper is round about 70 to 80 GSM. So this is thicker than copy paper. It's definitely not a cardstock, however. So if you wanted to use scrapbook paper, I would shy away from the very thick scrapbook paper only because there's quite a few folds in these particular pockets and you may find that they get a little bit too stiff and too bulky and sometimes that can cause cracking in the paper and things like that. So I'm using printables, like I say, but that's just because that's what I mainly have these days. Um, now, aside from your paper, what you're going to need, you're going to need some glue. Now, I always use the Anita's Tacky Glue. That's my kind of go-to glue. Um, if I'm sticking any lace or anything like that, I often use Fabri-Tac or the 3-in-1... Oops, sorry, I just knocked something off the shelf. The Beacon Fabri-Tac or the 3-in-1 glues. Um, you're going to need some scissors, potentially, and you're going to need something to spread your glue, if, if that's how you like to operate. I'm just going to use this bit of sort of cardboard, um, basically because I can't find my glue spreader. Um, so anything that you want to glue, uh, spread your glue with. Now, you may or may not like to use a paper trimmer. Personally, I like to cut by, you know, by hand with scissors. If you're a paper trimmer type person, then obviously bring along a paper trimmer. And then aside from that, just kind of extra, you know, nice to have if you, you know, if you like to use them, you may like your um, distress ink and things like that you know, and you may want to decorate. Now, I normally decorate one at the end of the session, but on the main, I leave them blank so that I can decorate them when I come to use them in projects. So I think that's kind of pretty much all that you're going to need. Um, and the other thing that I really find very handy to have is a dry wet wipe. So I just take some wet wipes and I leave them out to dry overnight, you know, a whole bunch of them every, you know, few days or so. And then, you know, I find that very useful for kind of mopping out the glue and things. So yeah, that's kind of it really. So let's move our papers to one side and get making. So I'm going to use this one first. Um, now this is from my Gilded Blues um, kit. It is backed onto these, which are my little, um, you know, cards and envelope sets. Again, these are, you know, not necessarily what I would call scraps, but they're things that, you know, I don't necessarily want them backed onto one another. So I can easily kind of use this. Now, when I've made these in the past, I've used them sort of, yeah, just cut down so that I make them narrower. So again, I haven't measured them. 
um, but I'm thinking a six by six paper size would maybe be, you know, quite good for this type of project. So I've got my piece of paper and I've cut it down to a narrower size. Now what I'm going to do here is fold it roughly in half just so that I get like where my middle line is on the page. And then what I'm going to do is just fold my corners down like so. Okay, now this kept on happening to me for some reason in the first video and I don't know really what, what I'm doing to cause this but clearly my, my measuring has kind of gone off somewhere but it doesn't matter at all. Um, so you can see I've gone off somewhere here and I've got this jaggedy edge but you'll see in a minute why this doesn't matter because basically what we're doing is we're then folding this edge up on itself like that. Okay, and then you can squish it down with your bone folder if you've brought the bone folder along to use. If not, you can use your scissor handles. So I'm just going to use my scissor handles just to squish it all nicely together. And then what you want to do is just apply your glue all over your triangles. You do not want to apply your glue here on these triangle flaps that are glued or that are pressed down. You're just doing it here on this outside edge of your triangles. So like that, okay? And then on this one, like that. Okay, and then you're going to fold your whole thing over like that. And this is where obviously you may want to have your glue spreader. In my case, my, you know, just piece of cardboard here. And this is where, you know, you may want to have your dry wet wipe. And that's then spread like that. So I'm just going to turn it over now. Spread it down here. Like that. Okie dokie. Now then, I'm just going to take my whole piece and I'm going to trim it down. Now let me put my glasses on for this so that I try and make a, a goodish job of cutting this. So you want to cut your triangle along this edge now you just want to be careful that you don't actually cut into your folded edges here because that's going to then you know spoil your pockets so just cut into these or sorry don't don't cut into these triangles but cut along the edge so like that and I do apologize if you can hear my printer in the background it's whirring away because I've been away for two weeks I really have a lot of catching up to do. So, um, yeah, I'm desperately trying to print off a lot of things now quickly. So, there we go. Now, what you've got is a completely sealed up triangle. Now, what you want to do is take this long edge, which was your folded over portion, and you're going to cut it open. So, just straight along the bottom here. Cut that down. Like that. Now, obviously, it's a little bit soggy because there's lots of glue going on at the moment and it's obviously still wet. But then what you've got is you've got your opening here. Like that. OK, so this then is your pocket. So if I just bring in a sheet of paper, so just going to bring this in. If this were a journal page, you would have your little corner pocket here that then neatly fits on to your corner and I say neatly fits on I now have obviously glued this down I had some glue obviously seeping out so just be a bit careful not to overdo the glue near your edges but that's then your corner pocket so what you've got is a corner pocket here and then if you turn it over you've got another corner pocket here and it's all kind of sealed up now that pocket hangs on to your page pretty well to be perfectly honest but obviously if you wanted to kind of secure it what you could do is just add a little dob of glue here and a little dob of glue here and then it would just be secured here on these edges and that would hold it in place alternatively you could obviously use this more like a sort of floating pocket that then could move around all around in your journal you could also use it, obviously, as a pocket down the bottom, which is also rather nice. 
So yeah, they're really lovely pockets, aren't they? So I'm going to run you through that again. I mean, they're not very difficult, but they are a little bit kind of fiddly. And obviously, you know, it does matter where you get your folds because otherwise your pocket's not going to operate properly. So let me bring in another sheet. Okay, so I'm going to use, I think, yeah, I'm going to use this one. So this is from my Great Expectations kit. And I'm just going to cut this down here. So again, just take it down like that. And on the back, this is from my birds collection papers. And for those people, again, who don't watch my channel, I'm literally saying the names of the kits that I've used because otherwise I do get lots of people asking, you know, could I please say the papers that I'm using? So again, what you do, you take your piece that you're using, you're going to mark off roughly the middle okay that so you know where to fold your triangle corners in so one there and then one this side okay you may want to squish them down at this point like that okay and then what you're going to do you're going to take your other long flap here and you're just going to fold it over the whole lot like that squish all your sides down like this and then when you open it out remember you are not gluing these bits down you're gluing on here so take your glue and just then glue around onto here so you want to obviously glue the edges glue a bit in the middle and then you're going to fold your whole piece over like that okay then spread your glue out like that okay like that okie dokie okay and then you might want to turn it over maybe do a little bit of your glue spread in on that side as well so you've got nice neat sides then you want to cut your triangle out. Remember, as close as you can get to your edge piece here, but without cutting into your folded edges. So like this. Okie dokie, like that. Okay, and anywhere obviously you need to tidy up, you can just do that afterwards. Now you've got your complete triangle like that. It's all sealed on every side. So now you want to open it up along the long edge. So just literally cut along that long edge there. Like that. Okay. And then you can obviously go in and open your triangle pocket up like that. And then just to show you again, You've got your little pocket that then sits nicely onto your corners. I mean, isn't that just such a gorgeous pocket? And I, you know, I've said this before, I love the pockets where just by making this one pocket, you filled two pages because it's a double, you know, double page pocket, which is brilliant, isn't it? So you again could have it at the top or you could have it at the bottom. Aren't they just super? And like I said before, if you wanted to then glue that to the page, you could just literally put a dab of glue here in the corners and then just slot that on like that and it would just be glued onto the page, just attached at the corners. So really not kind of interfering with your, you know, your opening of the pocket at all. So they're super nice pockets, aren't they? So I probably don't need to really show you through another time because, you know, they're not particularly complicated. Um, you know, like I said, the main thing is, you know, you do want to get your folds kind of going in the right place and you don't want to obviously glue down in the wrong place. And you also don't want to put too much glue in your middle run because that would possibly seep out here and cause your pocket to glue together down the middle. So aside from that, I think they're pretty straightforward. So I'm just going to take a bunch of papers that I'm going to make a variety of these pockets from. Um, and I'm going to try and do it assembly line style. So by that, I mean, you know, doing each part of the process, um, you know, individually. So all the cutting first, all the folding first, all the gluing, and then all the, you know, the final cutting, um, all kind of in the individual stages rather than kind of one at a time. 
Um, so yeah, we'll just kind of relax and have a, you know, really good fun, um, mass making session basically. So yeah, I'm just going to take a bunch of papers here. So, and I will try and remember to mention which papers that I'm using as I'm using them. So this one again is from the Great Expectations kit. So I should just put my leftovers that I'm not using. I must try and put to one side so I can put them straight in my scraps bin because this is where my desk ends up getting very, very messy. So yeah, I want to just say a massive thank you to everybody who joined me for watching the um, x Pile series that I ran whilst I was on holiday. I really hope that you all enjoyed it. So um, I had great fun filming it. Um, and I had filmed it quite a long time ago. I think I did mention that, um, you know, on the trailer. Um, this one, sorry, this is my French collection papers, as is this one. Um, oh, these are my fairy tale words. So I may use those to decorate. Uh, yeah, I had filmed it quite a while back. Um, and yeah, had really good fun doing it. Now I have to confess that my desk is even messier than it was at the beginning of the X-Piles. So to be honest, I could do with doing another X-Piles series pretty soonish. Um, so yeah, I may have to do one, you know, again, pretty soon. Um, which hopefully, you know, you'd all actually enjoy kind of watching again. These are my... Um, Victorian scrapbook collection papers which these are quite new I think I only just launched these just before I went away on my holiday so yeah but really fun papers so I'm not sure how they work for this pocket we'll, we'll see um yeah my desk is just so messy again so it may be a case of having to do another x -Piles pretty soonish but yeah thank you so much for everyone who watched it I really hope you enjoyed the series thank you so much to everyone who took the time to comment um you know and who said that they'd enjoyed it I really do appreciate your support and um yeah I hope that you felt inspired to maybe clear your desk off <laughs> at the same time as me I know that some some of you did because you'd you'd mentioned that you were feeling you know, that you were joining in and um, clearing your desk. This is the Paris Bouquet um, papers. So yeah, I'll just use one of these, I think. Um, so yeah, I hope that your desks are kind of holding out better than mine at the moment because mine is not looking good at all. This is from my curator's collection, um, the third edition, which is like the bugs and the toadstools and things. So, oh, I'm putting my scraps back over on the other bits. Mustn't do that. This one, I'm so sorry. The couple of these, I haven't mentioned the name because I actually can't remember the name of it. I'm so sorry. Oh, really very annoying. Um, yeah, I can't remember the name of this one. So, but this is all part of this same collection. Um, I will try, try and remember during the course of this video. And then obviously I can tell you what it's called. Um, yeah how's your desk going is your desk staying clear or is your desk like mine and actually deteriorated already i mean it doesn't take five minutes to be honest for mine to get terrible again so yeah i'm embarrassed to say that it's it's gotten worse already and actually gotten even worse than it was at the beginning of that series so yes it's not looking good and i feel absolutely horrified when i see it to be honest Right, I'm just going to use one of these, I think. So this is my lace collection papers. And yeah, I think this would make quite a nice corner pocket. So I'm just going to take some of these. So I hope everybody has had a good couple of weeks and, um, you know, that you've all been kind of safe and staying well and, you know, having a nice time. I hope you've all been doing some crafting. We had a fantastic holiday, I have to say. Um, yeah, a good time was had by all. It was my sister and my mum and dad, my daughter and my sister's son. So there were six of us who went on the holiday. Um, sorry, yeah, Lace Collection and the William Morris Collection. And this is my Green Buildings Collection. Um, we had an amazing holiday. So for those people who, again, you know, maybe don't watch my channel, we went to, uh, we went on a cruise and we went, it was called a Mediterranean cruise. I mean, in reality, it was really just a Spanish cruise because for some reason they didn't end up going to the French stop that they were going to do. So yeah, it was just really Spain. Um, but yeah, we stopped off at, I don't know, five different ports or something like that. 
um i can't even remember some of them i'm afraid but yeah we stopped at barcelona which was amazing um and cadiz those are the two that really stick in my head they were kind of my favorite stops um yeah we had a brilliant time the weather was absolutely lovely although i have to say i think we missed amazing weather here in the uk as well um every time that i facetimed my son um so yeah my middle son was still at home my oldest son actually ended up going to malaga ironically um which of course is in spain as well um you know not with us obviously but yeah so he was away also but yeah whenever i facetimed my my middle son who was at home oh the weather was glorious i mean one day it was 30 30.5 i think it was which was actually hotter than what we were having um i think our average temperatures were about 24 um but you know don't get me wrong that was more than hot enough you know because i actually only really like it about you know 24 25 i don't really like it much hotter than that so it was perfect absolutely perfect um and of course the added bonus is you know we were away on holiday we didn't have to make our beds we didn't have to cook you know didn't have to do the shopping you know none of that stuff so you know even if it was hotter here to be honest <laughs> we were having the better time because there was none of that other stuff to be dealing with so yeah no school run no no any of that stuff so yeah we had a lovely lovely time um yeah my son had a nice time here oh my goodness i missed our dog so much so for anyone who doesn't watch my channel, we got our dog just over Christmas. Um, she's not a puppy, she's three. Um, she was my sister's dog. My sister had three, um, long story, but yeah, we ended up taking one of hers. And um, oh my goodness, love her so much, I can't tell you. So I knew I was really going to miss her, you know, because already I was kind of like dreading going from the point of view of missing her. I missed her so much. So, yeah, my lovely friend um, looked after her and also looked after my sister's dogs. And, um, oh, I was FaceTiming constantly to chat to the dog. I mean, hello, what's wrong with me? Obviously, she, you know, <laughs> couldn't really tell it was me. Well, I think she, she could hear it was me because once or twice I thought, oh, she looks like she's looking for me when she could hear my voice. Somebody told me that dogs can't see screens. I don't know whether that's true i don't know whether they mean they can't see them or they can't understand them you know they kind of hear something but they don't really get you know why that person's not there in the flesh i'm i'm not sure whether that's really what that person meant more but anyway it was um yeah it was kind of like um the hardest part was missing her basically so was so pleased to see her when we got back yesterday so my son had then gone and picked her up so my friend was looking after her at my sister's house with my sister's dogs um and yeah my son went to pick her up on friday because he was obviously then finished work for the weekend so he could have her then you know kind of back home and then we got back yesterday so yeah we got back yesterday morning so he got her back on friday and then we got back yesterday morning Oh my goodness, she seemed so pleased to see me. I was like, oh, she's so pleased to see me. Her tail was wagging, she was kissing me. And oh, then I have to say, she was a little bit weird for the afternoon. And um, she was okay, you know, she was fine. But normally she's like super clingy and will not leave my side. She wasn't really like that. Now, when I went to the gym this morning, my friend said, oh, dogs are like that. They kind of sulk. You know, they'll be really, really thrilled to see you and then they kind of sulk and just make it known that they're, you know, they're not really happy with you. So I think maybe she's doing that because she kind of like, yeah, she was just less clingy than usual is all I would describe it as. So, yeah, but anyway, thrilled to bits to be home with her, I have to say. And, and my son, obviously. So, um, yeah, obviously thrilled to bits to see him as well. But, yes, more, th more thrilled to bits to see her, to be honest. So, um yeah that was that was my hardest thing was obviously missing the dog so yeah that was kind of that really also want to say a massive thank you to everybody who'd sent obviously well wishes and things like that for my lovely lovely friend who had had a heart attack um 
it's actually five weeks ago now would you believe the time just goes so quickly and um yeah thank you so much for your lovely prayers and your lovely wishes and things sadly um he passed away on the friday before i went on holiday so very 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 sad um he was only 57 i know i've said all this before you know and i don't want to kind of drag the mood down in the video but obviously you know lots of people had sent really kind wishes so i just want to kind of tell you basically you know the update um so yeah he sadly you know passed away and um you know he never regained consciousness from his heart attack and yeah his funeral is going to be next week on the 20th and um yeah i mean obviously you know from my point of view i was pleased that his funeral wasn't whilst i was away because i would have been you know absolutely devastated to have missed it um yeah just really 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 sad you know he was incredibly fit and you know really healthy and all of that stuff and you know it just goes to show really doesn't it you know when your time's up it's up so yeah anyway very 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 sad so yeah anyway let's let's you know move on from that because i don't want to kind of depress everybody um so lots and lots of things to do now i'm home obviously um you know obviously i've got washing and things like that that i need to be doing i still have more things to be doing for my divorce so unfortunately you know i've got a lot of that stuff to be doing over the next few weeks which i'm hoping is not going to kind of zap up all my time because obviously you know i don't want to be away from you guys on my channel for too long because you know i've already been away for two weeks so um yeah i'm hoping that i'm going to be able to do things pretty quickly but we shall see how it kind of pans out um i am renting my house out in a month's time so i'm aware that that's obviously coming up and that will obviously take up quite a bit of time um that being said you know i've got lots of things planned for the next couple of weeks at least so um yeah i've got lots of things that i'm hoping that i'm going to get back into my physical shop so that's on the shabby dabby uk website um so yeah hopefully i will do like a shop update hopefully later on this week maybe thursday seems to be quite often you know that's the day that i tend to put things on there um thursday or friday so yeah hopefully i'll kind of get some things restocked in there um it will just kind of depend really how my week goes so you know i may have underestimated obviously how much i've got left you know or got to do since arriving home but yeah fingers crossed i'm hoping that i'm going to be able to do a bit of a restock because um obviously i need to you know because i've obviously been away for a couple of weeks so i need to you know <laughs> earn some money so yeah um that's going to hopefully be this week um so if you're looking for anything you know the lace packs i know that they have all sold out at the moment um so natalie who again if you watch my channel you'll know that natalie has joined me and she's kind of working along with me um you know really doing an amazing job running my my physical shop so yeah she's working on putting some lace packs together so hopefully they will be in there later this week but i mean again you know she's got another part-time job that she does so you know she just kind of tends to do this in amongst her part-time job and you know obviously one in her home and her family so um yeah it will just be kind of like as and when we get time to be doing these things really so but hopefully they will be in here or in there later on this week um and hopefully again maybe i will get some lace clusters and things like that in there um obviously i will try and do a video of the things that i made on holiday have to say i didn't really get an opportunity to make that much stuff um because we were sharing a room um you know natalie and her son and you know my daughter and myself i didn't really get that much of a chance to actually be making things um you know because when you're obviously sharing with other people you can't just sit kind of crafting every time you're back at the cabin can you so um yeah it was kind of a bit awkward really but you know uh, yeah unfortunately i just didn't get as much stuff made as i perhaps have in the past when i've been away so yeah i was a little bit disappointed with myself but anyway i'm sure it's i'm sure it's all fine um so yeah that's an update with regards to the shop 
I uh, haven't had a chance to watch any videos whatsoever whilst I was away because, um, you know, the internet access was not brilliant. So, unfortunately, I couldn't stream videos or anything like that. So, I haven't watched any videos lately or anything like that to be able to, you know, kind of comment on, you know, any any videos or anything like that. That's crafting or, or otherwise, you know, no Netflix or anything like that. So, yeah nothing to report on what I've been watching or anything um what else oh we ate a mountain of food on holiday so yep <laughs> need to do a lot of healthy eating now to shift those pounds which oh, that's always a bore isn't it um I mean I did try and eat quite healthily but yeah equally we were still having you know I was having like dessert every night and things like that which of course I wouldn't normally eat having a bread roll with my dinner every night I wouldn't normally really eat bread at all so yeah I've got to kind of now be really healthy which oh that's just so boring isn't it who wants to come back and have to be healthy but you know <laughs> you kind of have to do these things don't you so yeah but I did try and be careful I mean I tried to take the stairs every time and things like that so and there were a lot of stairs so uh, yeah I read a couple of books whilst I was on holiday. I always read books on holiday because I generally don't really read when I'm at home. I used to. Um, I used to read whilst I was kind of doing, you know, my um, cardio in the morning. Like if I was on the exercise bike or anything, I would read a book. But nowadays I, you know, watch YouTube videos to kind of, you know, get inspiration for the day and things. So, yeah, the only time really that I do read is on holiday. And I like to read um, crime thrillers, really. They're my favourite. So I read a couple, and I'm so sorry, I can't tell you the names of any of them. Um, because I read on a Kindle, you can't really see the title of the book, you know. It's not like you're seeing the cover of the book all the time, are you? You know, you just open your Kindle and the book's already open. So, yeah, I'm so sorry that I couldn't tell you what I've read. But they weren't by authors that I've heard of or anything. They were just from, like, the daily deals, you know, for 99p or whatever that I happen to have bought over the last few months um, in readiness for when I was next away. Um, that being said, I do love Harlan Coben books. I didn't read any of his. Um, but, yeah, I do love his books. I love Linwood Barclay you know, them, them kinds of things. So, yeah, but unfortunately I didn't read either of those. They're not very often in the 99p daily deal offers. So, yeah, I don't tend to read those that much. But but I used to when I read books rather than Kindle versions. So, yeah. Right, okay. So, got a lot of cutting to do now. Tidying up all my pockets quickly glue this one down there we go oh I had my daughter's hair braided whilst we were on holiday and I've talked endlessly about my daughter's hair and oh my goodness what a horrible <laughs> what a horrible experience it is trying to do her hair and I know that I've said a few months ago she had cut her hair herself and oh gosh made a right mess of it and luckily I have a lovely friend who's a hairdresser. He cut her hair for her. So it's much shorter now. It's kind of like, well, I suppose bobbed really. But because it's short, it looks shorter. Obviously when it's wet and it goes straighter, it's, you know, it's longer. Um, but yeah, so she had it braided. We were like on the beach and, you know, how the ladies come past saying, yeah, oh, you know, can we braid your hair? And yeah, so she got hers braided and, um, oh, absolutely amazing because of course we don't have to brush it we don't have to wash it we don't have to do anything with it and they said it could probably stay in for you know maybe even up to six weeks so oh bliss absolute bliss so she's gone back to school today for the first day with her braided hair so hopefully she will keep it in for like the six weeks you know it will depend if anyone at school says it's horrible you know what little boys can be like so if anyone says it's horrible, she may not want to obviously keep it in. But hopefully nobody's going to say anything like that. And then she will want to keep it in. Um, but I'm just very aware of, you know, little boys can be like that. Because one night, the reason I say this, one night we had got ready, you know, for dinner. And um, I mean, my daughter's only nine, I have to say. 
but she loves you know all things girly especially makeup she loves makeup um and she's always putting makeup on i mean she obviously she doesn't put a lot on but you know i mean she probably would if i'd let her but you know she likes to put a bit of lipstick on she likes to put a bit of blusher on you know and sometimes she'll put eyeshadow on i mean oh obviously she doesn't necessarily make a great job actually to be fair i was gonna say she doesn't make a great job actually she does make quite a good job of it she because she watches lots of youtube videos how to do makeup you know she's actually shockingly good um anyway one night she'd put um you know some makeup on and things and she just had her hair braided that day and you know so i said to her oh my goodness you look so grown up you know you look like you're about 25 I mean, obviously she didn't really but you know she looked, she looked grown up so i said oh you look like you're about 25 now we were there with my daughter's son who's only 10 and you know in true form as you know little boys do <laughs> like to put you back in your place you know there's obviously the girls thinking oh you know i i look like a grown-up you know oh gosh don't i look grown up i wonder if people think i'm a grown-up you know so i said oh you look so grown up you look about 25 and he then straight away laughed and said, oh, but your height only looks 10. <laughs> and I mean, my sister and I just laughed so much because we just said, wow, isn't that just such a boy thing to say? You know, you're feeling all glamorous and lovely. You're, you know, dressed up in your best things. And don't boys just tell it how it is and make you feel rubbish. <laughs> so, yeah, we just laughed. But yeah. I thought, well, isn't that just a typical boy thing to say? Oh, but your height's 10. So, yeah. Anyway, she laughed as well. But it just made me made me really chuckle because I thought, oh, what a typical boy thing to say, you know. To, um, you know, put things back out how they were. You know, you're feeling lovely and glamorous and then they're like, oh, but you only look 10. So, yeah. Anyway, it was quite funny. Right, okay. So, cut all of these down. Oops. Yeah, yesterday we got back and um, when we docked, I have to say, I was so gutted because it was raining. So after all this gorgeous weather that they've been having in the UK, you know, and every time I've FaceTimed my son and it's been glorious sunshine and ah, oh, beautiful weather, I couldn't believe it. I looked out and it was raining and I just thought, oh, are you kidding me? We've now come back and it's raining. Oh, well, by yesterday afternoon, it was very, very, very hot. I mean, like super muggy, actually. Um, it, yeah, it wasn't necessarily that sunny. It was, it was quite sunny, but it was more very, very, very muggy. Um, but yeah, so hopefully today's not going to be quite so muggy because it was really sticky muggy yesterday. But yeah, about time to be honest because our summer was taking a long time coming over here in the UK this year. We hadn't really had much nice weather at all. So yeah, hopefully we're going to get, you know, a few weeks worth of nice weather now. So fingers crossed. I can't believe that we're actually kind of coming up to July already. Well, I mean, it's only really the 12th of June, isn't it? So, yeah, it's kind of um, not quite nearly, nearly July, but, you know, we're not far off, are we? It's just flying by this year, absolutely flying by. I mean, the time just goes so quickly, doesn't it, anyway? I mean, you know, we were gone for two weeks on our holiday, blink and you'd miss it. You know, already we're back. <laughs> it's just shocking. Absolutely shocking. Don't know where the time goes. There we go. There was lots of really good entertainment on the cruise, I have to say. I mean, obviously, they have like theatre shows and things like that at night. And I mean, they're of a really good calibre. I mean, obviously, you know, some are better than others. I mean, I think there was only one really that we thought was a bit rubbish. On the whole, they're, you know, really, really, really good standard. Oh, I don't know what's gone on with this one. Oh, I seem to have mucked this one up a little bit, but anyway. Oh, look, that's what I've done. I have cut into the side of it. So that's exactly what I said don't do. Now, obviously, just to say, if, like me, you end up doing this, it's still not the end of the world, because actually what you could do is now open this up completely. 
like that because I'm thinking ease of access and then when you get your page where you would have hooked that on like that you could obviously run your glue along that edge and there so all is not lost if you do end up cutting into your pocket like I have here it's not the end of the world you can just kind of then open it up and it's still then very very usable so you know don't panic if you cut it it's still going to be fine okay like that so yep okie dokie there we go Oh, it's always amazing, isn't it, how much washing that you have to do after a holiday. Oh, seem to just come back with so much washing. Oh, the room was such a mess on the boat. So, yeah, our cabin, I mean, in the end, you know, the kids were wearing what they called floor clothes, you know. Sometimes <laughs> my daughter would say, oh, I'm wearing balcony clothes tonight because she would grab things that she had hung out on the balcony, you know, things that had got maybe a bit wet and things, she'd put them out on the balcony. So, yeah, they were wearing a combination of floor clothes or balcony clothes. So, yeah, you can kind of get a picture there of how messy our room was. Um, funny enough, we went in my mum and dad's cabin once or twice, and um, I was just like, oh, my goodness, look at your room. It's so tidy. <laughs> My sister and I were so envious. We were like, oh, I wish I was in your room. You should see the state of ours. Which obviously they did frequently see the state of ours because they would kind of knock for us to go for dinner and things like that and go for breakfast. But yeah, <laughs> we were like, oh, can't we stay in your room? So, yeah. But my room's always a mess on holiday, to be honest. I don't know about you guys, but I think, well, I don't go on holiday to be tidying up, you know, I mean, other than my craft room, I do try and keep my house reasonably tidy. Um, you know, the rest of the house, obviously not the craft room. But yeah, the rest of the house is reasonably tidy. So I think, well, I have not gone on holiday to be keeping my room tidy. I mean, I do that all year at home in the house. So, you know, I like to just be on holiday and relax, you know. And so what if my things are all messy and, you know, my... Um, clothes aren't hung up at night they're just draped over the chair and I don't just mean you know at night I mean like for the whole holiday you know yeah it doesn't really matter to be honest so um but that being said I mean there were four of us in the room so I mean of course you know that was four people's clothes really just hanging around so yeah it wasn't the best but but hey who cares you're on holiday aren't you doesn't really matter right there we go so that's our pockets. So they're super nice, aren't they? And very, very easy. And like I say, I love the fact that you have actually then decorated, you know, two sides for the price of one, um, you know, two pages for the price of one. So let's decorate one up. I've obviously got these four, which I, uh, five, sorry, which I have not cut down yet, but I'm going to save these and do them in slow time. So let me just see. I've got some bits here for sort of fussy cutting. So let me see if I've got anything that I could just pull in and use for, for decorating. Let me have a look and see. Okay. Mm. Yeah, I did a lot of fussy cutting on the cruise. Um, that was kind of the main thing that I was doing really because you know you can do that when you're around the pool. So yeah, I did a lot of fussy cutting around the pool. Um, mm. Let's just see what else here uh, okay. oh, there's some from my perfect pocket kits here right let's have a look i haven't decided even which which pockets i'm going to do yet so let's have a look these things all might be a bit big actually for these but we shall see right i'm thinking maybe do this one um oh this is the one that I cut open. Well, actually, maybe this is the good one to do because it would just demonstrate to you how easily it will be put right if you have cut into it like I have. So, yeah, I'm going to do this one, I think. So let's just take a couple of a couple of bits from here. So, so, yeah, this is from, I think it's Perfect Pocket Set 4, the kit set 4. 
I think. So I do apologise if I have not got that quite right. Obviously, if you wanted to look at them, if you type into the search box on the Shabby Dabby Doodah website on Etsy, so my Etsy shop, if you typed in Perfect Pockets, you should get all of the Perfect Pocket sets and then hopefully you'd be able to then decipher which set it's from if it's not on the Perfect Pocket set for or in, in the Perfect Pocket set for. So let's just take a couple of these. Okay. Yep. Okie dokie. Right. So I'm thinking maybe this cute label. Now I love a label and I do love to have a label cut in half. Again, if you watch my channel, you'll know that's my, my go-to way to use a label is cut it in half. I just love how that looks. So just cutting that down slightly more. Okay. So we could have it like this. Now just deciding which way round I want this pocket. So if we had it there. We could even have it like that. And then we could use, you know, both those bits of label, I suppose, couldn't we? So, yep, pop that, whoops, pop that down there. And I'll just cut one of these little roses out. Okay. Oh, and there was a fantastic country western singer. She was on the last night. I can't remember her name. Um, anyway, she was amazing absolutely amazing so yeah brilliant like i say the entertainment on the whole was really really good you know very high standard they had some excellent singers generally um but she was very very good and they had this hilarious um magician sort of magician comedian guy i think his name was manuel marquez um no, no manuel martinez i think his name was absolutely hilarious very 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 funny uh it said he was cuban now i'm not sure whether he was cuban or whether he was maybe british but puts on a cuban accent as part of his kind of act i'm not sure um but oh my goodness he was very very funny you probably or possibly could get some of his sketches up on youtube so manuel martinez i think his name was um I mean, obviously, I've not Googled him. I've not YouTubed him or anything. I don't know whether he is on there. And if he is, I don't know whether he would be as funny as he was on the ship. But my goodness, he was so funny. So, yeah. And he actually did two shows, you know, different shows, completely different shows. So, yeah, we were able to watch him twice, which was awesome because he was so funny. Um, yeah, really, really good. And I spoke to another lady whilst I was on the cruise and she said she's seen him on, on other cruises. So he obviously, you know, he's obviously quite kind of renowned and um, yeah, he obviously kind of has been doing it for a long time. So, you know, that's why I just think he may well be on, you know, on YouTube or certainly, I don't know, somewhere on the internet. So yeah, maybe worth having a Google of him to see, see whether you think he's funny. I don't know whether he definitely will be on anywhere but you know the internet's so brilliant i'm sure that he probably is somewhere right let's have a look so i've got some pink lace i've got some of my pink florally trim i've got some of my diamante trim here uh, i've got some of my blue flowers right let's have a look and see what we want to use from these bits so i've got some of these flowers and things on my website um at the moment as well so yeah because i had had lots of messages when they sold out last time asking when they would be back so just to let you know there are some on there currently um and i do know that they are on there because i checked this morning for somebody so yeah they are definitely on there at the moment um if you were interested in the flower trims which the flower trims actually i've done them in packs that they contain some flower trims and some of the Diamante trims. So some of this black Diamante trim and things as well. Um, they're all on there. So, yeah, if you wanted to have a look. Okay. Had a smoothie for my breakfast this morning. Trying to be healthy already, obviously, since coming home. So, yes, we'll see how long that lasts. Probably by next week, it will have all gone out the window. 
but yeah, so far I'm trying to obviously be super healthy. Right, oops, sorry about that. Right, let's put some of this down on here. Okie dokie, like that. Okay, what's happened to my wipe? Okay, so right, now I'm just going to trim this off. Yeah, I've got quite a few projects to finish, like say from the um, x -Pile series. I've finished one or two, but I've got some other bits left. So I'm hoping to film those videos soon as well, because, um, you know, I need to kind of like stop moving on to other things really before I've finished other stuff. So yes, I shall try and try and get on with some of those things, I think. And then A, it will clear some space and B, obviously finish some of those projects. I shouldn't really start other things before I've finished finish some of the the first lots should I but that's just how it is isn't it I think as crafters you know we just can't wait to do other stuff okay like that so the dog's gone back to bed now so in case you're wondering where she is she's yeah she's gone back to bed so she's obviously like bored bored already of listening to my crafting voice well crafting talk not crafting voice yeah <laughs> obviously I, I my crafting voice is the same as my you know my <laughs> shopping voice my I don't know moaning voice my everything else voice but yeah my crafting talk she's obviously fed up with listening to that already right let's put a little tiny bit of the bling on there right, try and this down here. Oh, oh my goodness. Come on. Right. And then I think this little flower up here looks rather cute, doesn't it? Now do we want to have a butterfly on there as well? Yeah, I think the butterfly sets that off really nicely, doesn't it? So and the butterfly is just from my um, well, actually, that was from the Perfect Pockets set, but you also do get, I think, some of these particular butterflies in the Bright Butterflies sets. So, yeah, it's in a couple of different places. Okay, right, turn it over, because obviously we've got two sides to decorate, because this is indeed a, a double, double side pocket. Okay, right. Oh, tiny, tiny little bit of lace left. Hardly worth hanging on to, was it? But let's just see what we think. Okay, so maybe have that there. Okie dokie. Yeah, it's very muggy already again today. So, yeah, I'm feeling quite warm. You know, it's not looking very sunny out there. It wasn't very sunny when I went out earlier, but, you know, when I went to the gym and things, it wasn't really sunny. But, yeah, it is feeling very warm. You know, just very close. Okay, and then maybe just one of these. Okie dokie. Oh my goodness, how gorgeous does that look? So, yeah, let's just quickly pop this one down here. Like that, okay. And then just pop this down. Okay. Oh my goodness, that looks so yummy, doesn't it? Absolutely gorgeous. Now, do we want to have another little butterfly in here? Might just see whether we want this one. This one might be too much, but we'll just try it. So again, these are from the Bright Butterflies, but yeah, let's just give it a try. Just see. Just because it's pink, really, and it was just laying around, and I thought, well, let's just give this a try. Okie dokie. Okay. Oh, gosh, on the last day, I set my alarm for what I thought was half past five. Well, of course, you know, my iPad had, you know, changed its time 
to, you know, the time in Spain, which was an hour ahead. Oh, so I ended up getting up at 4.30. I just didn't realise, you know, so I was actually fully up and everything until I looked again. I thought it said five past five, and I thought, what? Five past five? Ugh. And by then, of course, you know, it wasn't worth then going back to bed because I was wide awake. So, yeah, super early yesterday, 5.30. Annoying, to say the least. So I'm still a little bit tired now from my early morning start yesterday. But yeah, not, not too bad. But yeah, a little bit tired. Right. There we go. Okay, right. Let's just see if we want some bling in that butterfly. What do we think? Not sure whether I actually like the bling or not. Oh, let's go for it, shall we? Whoops. Oh, gosh. This one's got, you know, it's only got two, so it's very, very hard to hold. Hold on. Okay, right. So, sorry, that's my um, iPad ringing. Hold on two seconds. It's probably my mum and dad. Hang on. Let me just hang up. Because I'm that close to the end of the video. I don't want to... Um, I don't want to have to answer it and then, you know, edit my video. So I'll just cut them off now. Right. OK, so that is our little pocket. Now, as I say, this was the one that I actually made the mistake on. So what you would do is obviously cut it down. Uh, yeah, cut it down and open it on the edge. And then what you'd have to do is obviously then glue it down along the edge here. Glue it down along the edge here. And then, you know, you could just get away with just a dob of glue there and it would glue on like that. So isn't that just such a gorgeous pocket? So even though we made a mistake, or, you know, even though I made a mistake when I cut it, um, you know, it's very easily rectified and still completely usable in the initial concept of having the double-sided or the double-page pockets. So the rest of them, obviously, you know, they were fine. We didn't make the mistake. Um, and they would obviously be decorated, you know, exactly kind of as they are. So, yeah. So I hope that you like them. I think they're just super, super cute. And yeah, really, really, really love them. So, yeah, I hope you like them. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. And yeah, I hope you all have a fantastic day. And I will hopefully see you guys tomorrow. If you like this video, if you'd be kind enough to give it a thumbs up, that would be fantastic. And yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys tomorrow. Thanks then. Bye.